Hey, what's up everyone? This is Zach Rosette. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a really simple swipe puzzle with BuildBox. Um, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just preview the game real fast and show it to you. So it's a really, really simple game. You just use the arrow keys to slide up, down, left, and right. And as your character moves, it colors the grid. And then if you color all of the grid, then you win the game. So it's a really, really simple game. I'm gonna see if I can build this really quickly for you, and then um, I'm going to build a more robust version uh, later on. Uh, but for right now, I think that this could get you at least started. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of the preview, go over here to the welcome screen, go to my 3D game, and let's just start fresh. Okay, cool, so let's start off by getting rid of the grass. Uh, you can keep the grass if you want, it actually doesn't make uh, much of a difference. Okay, first off, let's place this thing uh, down below the grid. Let's do negative one in the Y, perfect. And then we will go ahead and do the position um, over here. Uh, we can do one for the X and one for the Z and just go ahead and start off the one, one position. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's make this the floor. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this cube. I'm gonna rename it the floor. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just hit W, A, S, and D on my keyboard. So I'm gonna hit W twice, or actually, oops, I'm gonna go ahead and tilt the camera downward, hit it again, hit W, and then just go around the grid, something like this. Perfect. Okay, cool. So something really simple like this, uh, just to start off with. And then let's go ahead, let's go uh, to our floor. Let's make sure that it is static. And then uh, we're going to, we're gonna mess with the floor a little bit later. Let's go to the asset library and then uh, let's uh, double click on the cube. We're gonna use that as our wall and then let's double click on the cube one more time. And that is going to be our, our character. And then we're gonna actually need to switch out uh, uh, the floor. Like as we switch, um, as we color up the floor pieces, we're gonna switch out the floor pieces uh, with replacement floor pieces so that it doesn't, um, you know, it, we, so it ends our, our loop. So let's go ahead and let's do one more. Let's hit the asset library. Now let's go to, let's call this one main character. We'll call the sec, this third cube, we'll call it walls. This uh, fourth cube, we'll call it uh, floor replacement. Floor replacement, okay, cool. So the main character, let's go ahead and let's drag it up into our characters menu. Let's go ahead, let's put it as a character in the collision group character. Let's change our character's uh, color to tangerine, something really simple and easy right now. And then let's also go to our 3D world here and let's crank up the gravity to negative 60, something really, really heavy. And then uh, now let's go to our walls. Let's put our walls in. Let's change it to static. Um, and then also let's go to 3D model, change the color here to steel, and then hit press okay. Okay, great. Let's bring in a wall real fast. We'll go ahead and we'll put this up two, I believe, or no, let's just up one. Perfect. And then um, let's go ahead and let's do uh, one and one so that we're starting off with our, our our first cube. And then let's go, let's hit start going around our grid. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. I'm gonna look, make sure I'm looking downwards at this grid. I'll delete this first cube as well. And we can start going around and just trace our, our floor. Let's see, here. go down, here we go. Perfect, okay, cool. And then let's do a couple more. Um, inside the cube. Let's go ahead and delete this guy. And we can finish her up. Okay, cool. All right, now, nice, we have our grid here. Okay, perfect. Now, let's go ahead and when we change the floor out, the floor replacement, we're going to replace it with the color that we want. So let's also, let's make this static. And then let's go to our 3D model and we're gonna change the color here to tangerine. Okay, perfect. Let's bring our main character in and let's lower the scale down to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. 
point, oops, I did 0 0.45, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Okay, great. I think that looks good. Okay, let's go into our main character now. Let's add a few things. So first off, we don't want this character rotating at all. So I'm gonna hit zero on the rotation factors and uh, get rid of that. Um, and then let's go ahead and let's start adding in some controls and movement. So I'm gonna bring in a four-way swipe here and we'll go ahead and hook that up. And then I'll bring out a few keyboard controls, a keyboard buttons. I'll lift those up, do a couple, do four of those. And let's go to movement again, and let's go to jump. And we'll do four jumps here. Okay, great. And then what we'll do is we'll make the first jump be uh, 15, positive 15 in the, in the Z direction. And we'll make sure that we have zero for uh, X and Y. The difference is if you put, if you put none, it's you, you can still move in those directions, but if you put zero, it's going to give zero force in that direction. In this case, we want it to be zero. Okay, great. Let's keep going. Let's do zero, zero. Let's do negative 15, zero, zero, zero. So, um, and actually let's crank this up to 20. And, oh, it's supposed to be negative 20. Ah, and then this jump should be positive 20. Okay, my mistake. And then we're going to do uh, negative 20 to go left. Make sure we do zeros on the other, the other boxes. And then we will also do, we will do 20 um, in the positive direction to go right. Okay, great, perfect, unclick that. Okay, so up is gonna go up here, down is gonna go to this one, left is gonna go to this one, right is gonna go to this one, and then let's start doing our arrow keys. So let's go up, let's click this one, go down, click this one and go left, click this one and go right. Okay, perfect, and then let's hook those up. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so we got all of our directions covered here. And let's just see how that looks right now. Let's see if we can move our character around in our scene. And right now, our, our so our character just fell through, so that's not good. So we need to make sure that we've got some uh, collision shape here on the floor. Okay, that looks good. Okay. And then the other thing is we need to situate our camera. So let's take our camera, let's do a rotation of the camera, let's do negative 90. Let's do 30 in the Y. Let's do about three here. And let's go ahead and let's, actu let's actually just center this just like this. Okay, perfect. So this is looking good. Okay, great. All right, this looks good. This looks good. We can go ahead and play with this. Okay, now let's turn off camera view mode. So we're going to uh, go to our scale and we're going to up this scale to 1.4, 1.4, 4. in all the ways in X, Y, and Z. And then let's also, let's increase the scale of the walls a little bit to about 1.2, okay? So we'll do 1.2 and we're not going to, uh, Let's see here, is that the 3D model? Oh, oops, we're gonna keep the 3D model actually as one, but we want the collision shape to be 1.2 so that it, it gives a little bit of cushion in between the walls. You have a little bit of a gap in between the walls and this is this is what I'm gonna, what I mean. So I'm gonna switch to collision shape mode and I'm gonna rotate my camera down here so you can see this. Um, this is This is going to give a little tiny bit of a gap. All right, perfect, let's get, let's take a look. Okay, so this should look a little bit better. Okay, great. Yeah, this looks good. Now it's right in the middle of our, our, our grid and it's not hitting up against anything and this is nice and smooth. I like, I like the way this looks. Okay, per perfect. And that's gonna do it for part one, but in part two, which I'm gonna release tomorrow, I'll teach you how to change the color of the floor as the character moves along the floor. So stay tuned.